how to get better results when tracking. All tracking in Cormel products uses the Mocha tracking engine, a planar tracker to track objects in a shot. A plane is a 2D surface, like this book. As it moves around throughout a shot, it can be tracked and used to mask an effect or replace a screen. Where do you draw the track shape? Well, the planar area you're trying to track doesn't need to be flat, but it should move together like a rigid 2D surface does. Therefore, you can track the side of a car or someone's face, because even though it's bumpy, it looks roughly like a flat surface. To get good results, the tracked shapes you draw need to enclose a rigid area that moves like a flat surface. You can't track someone's entire head, because the whole head is not a single flat surface. It's multiple flat surfaces, and we can only track one at a time. What are the different tracking styles in TrackX? In TrackX, Track Layer tracks perspective surfaces you want to replace, while Simple Tracker doesn't track perspective. If you want to add a clip that faces the camera next to a moving plane, use Simple Tracker. If you want to do a screen replacement, use Track Layer. How do you track small objects? Often, an object will start small in the distance and then get larger as it gets closer to the camera. In these cases, you should start at the end of the video, then track backwards to give the tracker more detail to work with. If an object stays small throughout, you might have to draw a bigger shape around that point and track a slightly larger area. After tracking, you can change the size of the tracked area, but the already tracked movement will be saved. How do you track objects that leave the frame? If part of an object leaves the frame, in general, the track will still be good. However, if it leaves the frame completely and the track fails, you may need to throw away the bad tracking data and keyframe manually. How do you track a whole person accurately? If different parts of a person's body move in different ways, you'll need to track each rigid flat surface with a separate shape. For example, you'll need a separate mask for the upper arm, the lower arm, the torso, and so forth. Small tiles, windows in buildings, and other repeating elements can sometimes be hard to track. Because they're a regular pattern, the tracker can confuse one window for another, causing the track to jump around. Where possible, track a larger area, including a distinct element. Moving elements like water, grass, or trees that wave in the wind are also difficult to track. If your shot contains any of these elements, make sure that your track shape avoids these continuously moving areas. In all these cases, if you can't track an item directly, you can always track something nearby and offset the track. We have many more tutorials on our Vimeo channels, so please take a look there for help, and check out our new support system on coremelt.com if you can't find what you're looking for. Thanks, and good luck.